All right, so here's the creek area. And I know you've probably seen it on several of my other videos, but I'm gonna make this a permanent pond. And I'm probably gonna start about right here and work my way down all the way to the end. All right, and I'm gonna put that liner in there. We're gonna create this pond where it's about two feet here. And then in this area, I'm gonna go deeper and dig it out where it holds the water all in here. So I gotta dam up a little bit over here, raise that up so the water can flow in from down the creek. So it's gonna hold water back that way and then come down through here where I'll have the pond liner to hold. So I'm basically gonna build up on this side as well. You see it goes all the way down and then I have my fence line it runs across right here so pretty much I got to figure it out as I go but that's pretty much going to be where the pond is and then you come up here I'm going to eventually build a bridge across and up here I have my mulberry trees and over here I got some raspberry tree and some raspberry right here this one's already sprouting and growing this one over here is looking like a stick. Hopefully it's not dead and just still dormant. Hadn't caught up yet like my other grape tree. And then this is a mulberry tree that I planted this year. It's just getting going. So it's going pretty good so far. And then I'll clear this all out again. And once I figure out what I'm going to do, I'll get this all cleared and grassed up. The canoe over here is going to be like a butterfly garden i'm gonna fill that up with dirt and whatnot in there it's got holes in the bottom but then i'll plant flowers and whatnot along there and i also plan on putting beehives over here later for honey so i want to get the water going so they have a source of good water consistent water keep them in the area and then of course the gardens over there and then there's my little pool up there so that's the plan so far got a lot to go a lot to work on so I'm just going to start a little bit at a time I could go to Home Depot and I might still later depending but I'm going to start with the shovel because basically all I got to do is groom this up to where it's nice and smooth so it doesn't punch the liner out and then I'll put uh, probably a couple heavy duty tarps underneath the liner and then put the liner on but the biggest thing is just getting this smoothed out and getting the dimensions and the depth how I want it because I want it to be able to hold some fish. I'd like to get some tilapia going, maybe some sunfish and whatnot in here. So that being said, I'm just going to get started and this is video number one. So there will be several to go as I make progress. Starting with shovel and manpower. <laughs> 